Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about a very easy payload hack that you can use to skyrocket your user experience. Now what I'm talking about is pre-filling specific values when you want to create a new document in a collection. Let me show you what I mean. I've set up a very simple demo project on my local host and it basically only consists of two collections companies and projects. Companies are just a very simple schema of a name and projects are basically the same. However, they can be linked to a company, which makes sense. Now, let's say we are in our companies collection and in our test company, and we want to add a project. Now I've added a very simple custom UI component that lets you click and redirect you on the create page for a project. However, here you have to manually select the company that you want to link it to. So how cool would it be to actually pre-fill this automatically to the company that we're coming from? That's what I'm going to show you now. So if we take a look at our project code, as you can see, we have two simple collections the projects collection with the name and the company, which is a relationship field and the company's collection with a simple name field and a custom UI field, which basically just renders this link to the create page for a new project. Now, the first question is how do we actually supply the project, the create project form? with the information or with the ID of the company that we want to link it to. And for that, we're going to use URL parameters. You might be familiar with them. Um, they look like this. You just add a question mark to the end of the URL and say, let's say company equals, and then you just have to put in the ID, which then makes this a parameter that we can usually parse. Now, the only thing that is left to do is to create a custom field component that actually takes this information from the URL and pre-fills it into the form. And that's what we're going to do now. First, I'm going to the projects collection. And what I'm going to add is a custom field, which I'm going to call prefill company. You can basically name it however you want because since it's a type UI field, it actually doesn't get added to the data structure. It basically just lives in a front end. Now, what we have to specify is the actual React component that is rendered as a field. And we still have to create that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file called prefill company which will be a React component. So I'm using the RFC shortcut from React Functional Components to just create a boilerplate component. And we're going to add this as the field for the prefill company field. All right. Now, what is still missing is the logic for this component. The first part is parsing the information that the URL contains. For that to happen, I'm going to paste in a very simple code snippet that you can find down in the description, which basically uses the use location hook from React Router DOM. Still have to import that. And keep in mind, since React Router DOM comes with payload, you might not have the auto import function, but if you import it manually, it will work just fine. So we're using the use location hook. Afterwards, we're going to use the use memo hook, which we still need to import as well, which basically parses our URL search parameter. Now with this use query hook, we're going to parse the query. And what we're getting back is an object, which is called params. And this object contains all query parameters as a JavaScript object. The second part is actually setting 
the value of the specific field that we want to prefill. Now, in order to do that, we're going to use the use field hook that payload provides us with. So we're going to say const value and set value equals use field. And now we have to specify the actual path of that field. In this case, it's just company. So the path of a field, just to make sure that you remember, is the actual name that we specify here. Now we still need to import that one. Now, last but not least, what we have to add is a use effect hook that takes the parsed value, checks if it exists. So we're going to say if params.company doesn't exist, then we're just going to return and do nothing. But if it exists, we're going to use the set value function and set our field which we specified before to params.company okay and we can get rid of the return statement since we don't want anything to show in the end so we can just return an empty string all right and that's already it now to test out our new functionality we're actually going to modify our add project button to include the ID of the company that we're currently editing. Now, in order to retrieve this ID, we're going to use the use document info hook, which payload provides us with. So we're going to say const ID equals use document info. And I still have to import this one. It's imported from utilities though utilities sorry all right now now that we have the id the only thing that we have to add here is a question mark and since this is a template string i just say dollar sign curly braces and say company id and obviously i have to add company before that now this basically adds the current ID of the company as a URL parameter company to the link. If we go back to our demo project now, click on our company and click on the Add Project button, the platform actually crashes because I forgot to import use effect. Obviously, I'm going to import it now, use effect refresh the page all right so if we go back to companies to our test company and click on app project as you can see the company attribute is pre-filled now in this case obviously it's a very simple example and it doesn't take a lot of work to just select one company however if we're working in a much more complicated and complex environment and you have maybe two, three, or four fields that might make sense to prefill. This is really going to save the user a lot of time while creating new documents. If you have any questions about the implementation or anything else, really feel free to let me know in the comments. Apart from that, take care.